What's up guys, Xbox Mod 360 here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the Saber Turbo GT in Grand Theft Auto 5 online. So for those of you who haven't seen it before, it's the muscle car you see right behind me here, and it's a very nice car, it has a lot of cool customization options. And this is just one of those vehicles that you can't buy online, but you can find on the street and store in your garage, which kind of makes it a rare vehicle in a sense. And it just has a lot of really cool customization options, like those side exhaust pipes and the wheelie bar on the back, which is extremely unique. And another thing I really liked about this vehicle is that if you use the second roll cage option, you get this can of what I can assume is nitrous inside the center of your vehicle, and I think that's really cool looking. I mean, obviously you can't use it, but it's just a really cool feature. And for anybody who is wondering, this is what the vehicle looks like under the hood, so it's just overall a really nice vehicle, one of my favorite muscle cars in the game, and it's actually a little bit difficult to find, it's a little harder than most of my tutorials. And the reason for that is because this vehicle spawns all across the map, it just spawns up randomly everywhere and it's not that easy to pinpoint an exact location, but I found one of the best locations to be this long road right here. And what you're going to want to do is drive up and down this road driving either a Sabre GT if you or your friend already has one, or use another muscle car like the Phoenix, this will also help you spawn one up. And there's no specific time it can spawn up day or night, so all you're going to do is drive a good distance down the road. You don't have to go all the way to the end, but you're going to drive a good distance down the road. And then once you haven't seen any, you've looked down the side streets and in the parking lots on this road, you're then just going to turn around and drive in the opposite direction. And you're pretty much just going to repeat this process driving up and down this long road looking for the Sabre GT on the road on the side streets in the parking lots because it spawns up in this area quite often I've found. And one thing that will help you out a lot is if Simeon is looking for this vehicle because then it'll spawn up a lot more often. If he's not, you definitely still can find it. I was able to find mine without him requesting it. But if it is on the list of vehicles he's looking for, you're definitely going to have a better chance of finding it faster. So what you're going to do is drive up and down this long road four or five times looking at all the vehicles. And if you have no luck and you don't find any of them, you're then going to hit start online and find a new session. And that's pretty much all there is to it. You join a session and drive up and down this road a couple times looking at all the vehicles. And if you're not getting any Sabres to spawn up, you just jump to a new session and try it again. So as you're going to see right here, I ended up finding one at nighttime on one of the side streets. Just ignore the fact that I was driving a Roosevelt because I was moving it from one garage to another. And I just so happened to turn up on the Sabre when that happened. But that is completely unrelated. Driving a Roosevelt will not help you spawn up a Sabre. What you're going to want to do is drive around a muscle car like another Sabre or a Phoenix or something like that. And once you get one Sabre to spawn up, more will most likely spawn up in the area. So if any of your friends wanted this vehicle as well, you can call them over because you're probably going to see a couple around you. As you can see right here, I immediately found another one after I got in the first one. So overall, this is most likely going to take you 20 to 40 minutes to locate this vehicle. Like I said, it's not an easy one to get because it spawns up so randomly and there's no good spot to get it. But I personally find this to be the quickest method to get a Sabre Turbo in GTA 5, and some of you might end up getting lucky and find it first try or find it after 5 minutes. Others of you it might take an hour. But anyways, here are the customization options for this vehicle, I'm just going to speed through them. So there are a lot of cool customization options for this vehicle like I showed you guys in the beginning of this video. It has a lot of cool features that other muscle cars don't, and it's really unique and it's a pretty cool car to get if you can find it. But anyways guys, that's going to wrap up this tutorial on how to get the Sabre Turbo GT and Grand Theft Auto 5 online. If you had any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments, and if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button for more amazing GTA 5 content just like this. And as always guys, thank you for watching from Xbox Mod 360